Starting in January 1st of 2017, uh, according to the Affordable Care Act, insurance cover carriers are mandated to cover medical expenses for trans folks. Um, some of our BUMC financial folks in, 20, in August of 20, I'm sorry, October of 2016, starting a couple of years ago, put down some costs of how much money we think each patient would bring in. And this is only including top surgery. This isn't including any bottom surgery. And um, it's a lot of money. These surgeries make a lot of money. Um, so female to male chest reconstruction can bring in $40,000. Uh, a patient just on routine hormone treatment, who I'm only seeing a few times a year, can bring in several thousand dollars because that requires a lot of visits and labs. It actually makes money for the hospital. Now these I got from the internet, um, but it's from uh, the Philadelphia Center for Transgender Surgery, which has um, does a lot of um, surgery for patients. And I just want to give you an idea of how much these bottom surgeries are making. And this is, I think this has to be an underestimate. Uh, this is for a vaginoplasty. They're saying they're quoting roughly around $20,000 for a vaginoplasty, but that doesn't include your hospital stay, that doesn't include your post-op visits, that doesn't include um, your anesthesia, your OR. So I would think that this has to be a gross underestimate. I think that's just like the surgeon's um, piece of it, which anybody who's ever been in a hospital knows that that's like 10% of it. Uh, and then the female to male bottom surgeries, these are huge money makers. Again, I think this has to be an underestimate that they're quoting around $20,000 for a phalloplasty. There's been different things that I've read that said it could be up to $100,000. Um, Dr. Winokur, who's our surgeon, says that there's entire clinics where the entire clinic is supported just by their phalloplasties, and that is like a fraction of the surgeries that they're doing. These surgeries are labor intensive, they require a lot of follow-ups, they require a lot of OR time, and they make money. They make money for the hospital. 